So everybody all across the country had been anticipating a very loud and wild and uh, right in your face protest come Tuesday. And here we are, it's Tuesday, and here are the major events that I think are worthy of catching you up on. And without any delay, let's get right after it. Number one, last time around, Oscar Sudi's Timba XO was raided. People stole expensive liquor and threw rocks through the windows. So I think they love to do repair work for the windows and uh, bring in more stock if at all they are to do any form of business. But that was last time around. This time around, the same Timba XO has been put on fire. The image should be on your screen right now as we speak. So you can see that people still have that bile with the people who they feel are the cause of all this uh, oppression via the finance bill. And that's why they're going after businesses that are linked to key politicians. And at the end of the day, but there's a lesson there. The lesson is if you ever do business, it's in your interest not to explain or let anybody know about your business. Forget even about the blowback if you ever end up in parliament and vote on an oppressive finance bill and people will come after you. Even your own relatives can come after you. Your own friends can come after you. It's always good to have assets that people know nothing about. So the erroneous mistake on the side of uh, Moshimio Oscar Sudi was to let people know that he's the owner of Timber XO because that's why he's receiving all this blowback every single protest. At this point, they shouldn't even bother renovating the space and getting it back up running because the next time there's an altercation with the people, they'll pelt that place to pieces. Now, second uh, thing worth noting today, theft has been on a very high, high rise. I've seen so many videos. You guys have sent me so many videos. I can't even feature all of them. I'll just share around two or three with you and then we'll call it a day we move on to the next iconic moment of the day. So first up, just check out this video of thugs pretending to be protesters and end up robbing an innocent bystander. Roll the tip. Remember, even if you're a protester, not everybody to your left and right is a protester. Stick with people you know, stick to streets that you know, and always be in a crowd that looks correct. There are crowds which definitely look wrong, sound wrong, and uh, if it quacks like a duck, it is a duck, so watch yourself out there as you go to protest, if you feel the need to go out and do so. The other issue of theft, we had a gang of bikers. This, this is quite interesting. A gang of bikers. You'd think it's a convoy of protesters approaching you. You'd feel the need to be next to them as they're hooting, they're moving. You feel like a unit you're moving, but these are thieves. Roll the tip. What the fuck? Come <laughs> Ona, Johnny, Ona, Where's he? Ona, 
on the back of your Again, like I said, if you're going out to protest, go out in numbers of people who you know each other and you can protect each other and raise alarm when something goes rogue. Otherwise, if you're on your own, anything can happen. Like that gentleman who was cornered by the bikers. They looted every single thing from him. It's very sad. Still on that same note, here's what happened to Quickmat. Just a few hours ago, roll the tape. So it's been a day of thuggery and looting. I was talking to one gentleman today. He was somewhere in CBD and uh, the business owners of that block, I don't want to mention the block, they came with the that long stick that you connect to the jembe so that you can go do farming. All of them were armed with that, rungus. So anybody who was found moving around and you have no business there, they told you kindly vacate the area. If you are not a business owner here and you have no business here because clearly you're not a business owner, just move on with your business. They didn't clobber anybody, but had they found any thief anywhere nearby, that thief would have paid a very hefty price. So businessmen are now beginning to arm themselves and I believe they should even be given firearms. Anyone who attempts to steal from you should be nullified immediately. There's a difference between theft and theft thuggery and protesting there's a very big difference in that line now the third and final story of the day the boy who stole the mace here's an image of him has finally been arraigned in court here's the image of him in court also now personally i don't buy the narrative from parliament that he stole a fake mace i have had two or three different leaders talking about the people who were killed in Gidurai was for the purpose of retrieving the mace. They believe that that's where it was. I don't know if this mace has a tracker. I don't know if they had good intel of the person who was photographed with the mace and they were able to know that the fellow comes from a certain region. I don't know what happened there. But based on the current events, the speed to arrest this boy and to arraign him in court and to do an overnight operation, it lets me believe that the actual mace was stolen and the fact that he's in court probably means it's been recovered and it's very reckless that security forces allowed the mace to be stolen. The sergeant at arms, even if you are running from protesters in parliament, you do not leave the mace. That thing is gold. The whole thing is made of gold. 
if you are to steal that thing and melt it, I don't think you'll work another day in your life provided you find an actual market for the gold because within the market, they will be waiting for anyone coming to sell anything and you'll be nabbed. But if you do manage somehow to sell it, you're set for life, probably even your children's children. So it was very reckless for the sergeant at arms to let the mace be stolen. Whether it's real or fake as they pretend it was, it's still an embarrassment for parliament and uh, the sergeant at arms and the speaker. By the end of the day, guys, that's all I had for you. If there's any moment that I left out today that you think is memorable, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to add it in tomorrow's What in the World segment. And with that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.